my kingdom kids it's me pastor angela thank you for joining me online let's keep learning our lesson series called chosen so far we have learned that we can choose to follow god and we can choose a, a true heart we learned that last one from david you remember david now there's a lot of stories about david in the bible you see even though god already chose David to be the new king of Israel to replace King Saul, David didn't become a king right away. But as David was growing up, before he was king, he kept proving that he was the right person for the job. So we are going to read about one of the things that David did before he became king. And our Bible story is from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17 verses 1 to 51. You can pause this video and read from your own Bible or your Bible app or of course you can listen along and I'm going to read from the beginner's Bible. And this is called David and Goliath. There's Goliath. The Philistines were enemies of God. Their army came to fight King Saul's army. A giant soldier named Goliath yelled, Bring out your best soldier to fight me. Looks kind of scary, doesn't he? He was big and tall. If your strongest soldier defeats me, we will be your slaves, he boomed. If I defeat him, you will be our slaves. King Saul's soldiers were afraid. They did not want to fight the giant. Do they look afraid? Yeah. And he's running away. <laughs> look, he's doing this. Oh. Meanwhile, young David was taking food to his brothers. They were soldiers in King Saul's army. When David reached the camp, he saw Goliath. David heard the giant's challenge. There's David. David was home and he has to bring food to his brothers. I'm not afraid to fight the giant, said David. King Saul called for David and told him, You cannot fight the giant. You are too young. David replied, God will be with me. There's King Saul, and there's David. What's he holding? Do you know what that is? We'll find out. King Saul gave his armor to David, but it was big and heavy. David wasn't used to wearing the armor. There you go. It's too big on him. So he took it off. No armor to fight the giant? What's going to happen to David? Let's find out. Okay. David went to a nearby stream and picked up five stones. He stood before Goliath. The giant laughed at him. But David didn't care. He said, I come before you in the name of the Lord who rules over all. So this is a slingshot. And there's Goliath laughing at David because he's so small and he's big. And he doesn't have a sword or a shield. He only has five stones and a slingshot. David put a stone in his sling and ran towards the giant. Then he let the stone fly. What happened? It hit Goliath's forehead and he fell to the ground. The Philistines saw that their hero was dead. They ran away. David won. He won against Goliath. What is the hardest choice you have ever had to make? A long time ago, 
I visited the Capilano Suspension Bridge in Canada. It was long and it was high up. And under it was, I think there might have been a river or a stream, but a lot of rocks and trees. And it rocked back and forth and back and forth. And I was so scared. I was too scared and I didn't go across. I couldn't do it. And I kind of wish I tried much harder to walk across the bridge because I don't know if I'll ever get the chance to try again. So that was a one of the hard choices, hardest choices that I had to make. Um, but I let my fear get the better of me. When Saul and his army saw Goliath, they were scared. And they let their fear get the better of them. They chose not to face him. Chose not to face Goliath. But David, David wasn't scared at all. He said, God is with me. David trusted God and he defeated Goliath. So from David we can learn to choose to trust God. The other soldiers could have chosen to trust God, but you know, maybe they were just too scared that they forgot that they could trust God. Maybe they let the fear get the better of them and they couldn't see that God can do anything, that God is the best and God can defeat Goliath. So, maybe that happens to us too hmm. maybe we get too scared sometimes when we have our own giants in our lives that we forget to trust god we for, we let our fear get the better of us so we get scared and we get afraid and we forget to trust god but our bible memory verse reminds us that we are god's chosen special people remember our bible memory verse <laughs> Okay, it says, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of Him who called you out of darkness into His wonderful light. 1 Peter 2, 9. Okay, I'm going to give it to you. In the screen but with blank spaces read it out loud and fill out those blank spaces I believe you can do it ready go good keep doing it keep remembering and memorizing this Bible memory verse you can do it so when you're scared or when you're facing a giant remember that God chose you God made you part of his holy nation his royal priesthood you are special to God and you can choose to trust God hey we have a craft today you are going to need a cup, a disposable cup, um, some papers, a yarn, scissors, and um, tape, and markers or crayons, and something heavy like a pebble or a small rock. And we are going to make this fun little game, cup game. Okay, so you are going to poke a hole in the bottom of the cup and you are going to put the string through the hole um, ask your parents if you need help okay and you're going to make a knot at the end of the string there's the end of the string and at the end of the other end of the string you are going to tie um, a small rock or a bunch of paper or tape or whatever something that I, it's a little bit heavier than just paper what I did is I crumpled some paper and some tape and I scrunched it all up and I wrapped it all in tape 
so it's a little bit heavier but I think I might want to add a little bit of a rock to make it just a bit heavier and I drew Goliath <laughs> you like my Goliath I drew him on a piece of construction paper and I cut around him and I taped him onto the cup so he's taller than the cup and then the game is to swing the rock until you can get the rock in the cup and bonus points if you hit Goliath if, uh, if you hit Goliath and then it goes in so challenge your family <laughs> to do it with you see who can do that I, that's why um, you need like a small rock or a pebble to hit Goliath mine is a little too light so use like a small rock go into your garden or front yard and find a small rock so bonus points if you hit him and go with it goes in okay take a picture and show me um, post it on our Facebook page um, we are HICC Kingdom Kids or you can use the hashtag HICC Kingdom Kids ask your parents to post it for you and you can even do like a video um, challenging each other on who can get the most um, points so let's see one point if it just goes in the cup and two points if you hit Goliath and it goes in a cup. Yeah? Got it? Hey, let's pray together. God, thank you for giving us choices and we choose to trust you. Please help us remember that you are with us and that we can trust you whenever we get scared, whenever we have giants in our lives, something, um, something hard that we need to do or a hard choice we need to make. Please help us remember that you are with us and we can trust you and we can defeat the, the giants in our lives because of you, because you are powerful and magnificent. God, please keep healing our world. We thank you so much for loving us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hey, I cannot wait to see your cup games and I will see you online next week and God bless.